All right, so we talked last week about some of the things that help keep the self-publishing business going, but some of them were pay-for models. What if you don't have the discretionary expense, and what if you just want to find the best free resources? Well, we're going to give you six of our best self-publishing resources that come at no cost. Stay tuned. Welcome to Self-Publishing with Dale and Kelly. And uh, you wanted to say the Ann Kelly part? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Yeah, it doesn't. It, it's She's weird, not a superstar. It's weird being flipped around. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're flipped around as you guys can see. And this is the new setup. It's not as glamorous as the upcoming videos are going to look. But nonetheless, we are here. We're ready to rock and roll. And uh, now we've got uh, two monitors. So we're able to kind of keep an eye on chat. So please feel free if you're inside the live chat right now or if you're watching it on the replay, drop it inside the comments. I wanna see if you're there and you're live and kicking. So uh, damn ads, <laughs> yes, those ads are, are gonna be the barrier of entry, sadly. Um, uh, but I probably should kill those in a future one. But in any event, uh, today, before we jump into things, remember, if you want tips and strategies for publishing your own books, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on for all my latest videos. And um, the upcoming schedule is going to be a little less precarious. We're going to let you know every Thursday uh, we're going to have our broadcast with the exception of this coming Thursday. So after that, on December, I believe the 21st, December 21st, we're actually going to be having four facts every newbie self-publisher should know in 2018. So we're going to give you some facts that you need to know to protect your business and also get the most out of your business that you can. So keep that in mind. You want to join us. That will be next Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, not on a Monday. This is a little bit out of our normal scope. And uh, remember, today is brought to you in part by Grammarly, the world's best grammar checking and plagiarism detector on the market today. And I personally love the product. You can go check it out. Get yourself a free or premium account at selfpublishingwithdale.com slash Grammarly. So take a look at that. So today we're gonna to be talking about our six best free self-publishing resources and tools. And Kelly's over here smiling, so that must mean someone's uh, someone's given, oh, here we go. If you guys could only see our, our glorious setup here, it's a little different. It feels it is, like we're in a, it's like a studio, right? It's me off too, because I'm used to going like that. But now I have to go like that. Yeah, that's true. She, it messes her up. Like, true story. We go over to like a hotel and I try to take her side of the bed and she gets all bent out of shape. All bent out of shape. It's not what I'm used to. Yeah, so yeah, you're a little bit, it's a little bit different. Yeah, and it's probably messing up. We might have to change the dynamic on next broadcast. Uh, before we do, do go down uh, too, too far of a path here, we want to make sure we're keeping things on, on track. Uh, for those of you that are inside the live chat, if you're just lurking, that's cool. But just do me a favor. Drop something in the chat. Tell me what your favorite free self-publishing tool or resource there is. Uh, feel free to drop some links. We've got some admins. Uh, Kelly's keeping an eye on the chat. And if for some reason you get blocked on a particular link, we'll try to pass it through or you can at least just save the name of a particular product. Uh, we're definitely happy to uh, promote anybody if you happen to have a product. Uh, please, within reason, okay? Don't be giving me some crazy adult theme site or anything like that. Uh, those are free, obviously. Uh, who pays for that? <laughs> All right, so... Our six best free self-publishing tools and resources, things that make our life easier. The two of us, well, let's go ahead and just say it. We're going to call it as we see it. We don't like to spend money. All right. In fact, the more money we've, we've made, the less we spend. Am I correct in saying that? In fact, I think even your CPA told you that you needed to spend more money, correct? Yeah. So That's next, bad when your CPA is telling you you need to spend more money. Next year, I have to spend more money or Uncle Sam is going to get way too much. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So it, it's a good problem to have, right? Um, so uh, for me, I, I just I, I think I, it was the way I was raised. And I know that my brother here, he's in the chat and he can probably attest to this, that cost was always a big thing growing up for us. We were always like, you, you we can't afford that. You know, I'd go for a second cup of milk. You can't afford that. So. I am 
you know, just wired now to where I look for the best free resources out there. And I'm going to tell you, I found some real duds. Okay. I, I found some real stinkers when it comes to free products, but I have actually found some great quality products. And I think it's worth a second look if you just hear us out on this one. So we're actually going to tell you our top three each, and we're going to start in order of our third favorite one. And we're going to work down to our first favorite one. So I'm going to start this thing out because um, I'm louder than you. Okay. Yeah, she's like, whatever, it's your show. Um, so my favorite resource, you guys ready for this? Number three, you're right on it right now. YouTube is probably one of my most invaluable resources that's 100% free. I am telling you that I have learned probably 50% of my knowledge that I have in self-publishing from just going through and studying a lot of the people who are in self-publishing and outside of self-publishing. So there are people I've shared with you in the top 10 video channels devoted to self-publishing, the, the likes of Jason Brock, to Dave Chesson, to Tom Corson Knowles, a future guest by the way, uh, to Emeka Osai. These guys are great, but there's also other ones that I enjoy to look into as well. It's like Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Affiliate, it's a great one. Brian G. Johnson, Nick Nimmin. These guys help me craft my video content as well as give me a better understanding how I can be able to provide a better product here for you. But in turn, what ends up happening is it lends itself to my self-publishing business. And here's the really incredible thing. Everything I learned on GIMP, I learned it in YouTube. Literally, I've learned everything in YouTube from just searching up specific things. Every now and then I've had to rely on forums, but YouTube is a wonderful resource. If any of you agree with me, I'd love to hear from you inside the chat. Drop it on in there. Do you think YouTube's a great resource or do you think it's garbage? I'd like to hear from you. Lean one way or another. If you agree with me, hit the thumbs up on this video, of course. So what do you think about YouTube? YouTube's addicting, not just for business. Agreed. Yeah, it, it, it can. I, I get down some crazy rabbit holes every now and then. I get stuck on wrestling podcasts and uh, uh, cute cat videos. Yeah, and it's also good for self-development stuff. Yeah. Like motivational stuff. Now, you always laugh. Everybody, here's a little bit of a hack. I, I've shared this before, but it's no longer a public video. She laughs anytime I do this. Do you realize, with the exception of live video that you can just click down, let's see here, it would be, um, I mean, let me tilt here, it'd be down towards uh, that way. Okay, there's a little cog down there when you're watching your videos, you can click that and hit the speed. You can go one and a quarter, one and a half, and two X. I watch, I would say 99.9% .9 of my content fast. Am I, am I lying on that one? Yeah, but there's- It irritates her. There's, there's one tip. <laughs> Don't do two X on Gary V. Never do two X <laughs> on Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm telling you, like I've tried it. Uh, I even tried it on his book. He just is so rapid fire. I would say probably I'd be the other one, but I've learned to to slow down a bit on my my delivery on my pre taped shows. So that's my number three. What is your number three? I love Google Docs, and this started off when I started publishing. I was poor. We didn't have much money to invest in the business. We just want to pay our bills. And so I just got addicted to Google Docs. It's free. It auto saves. You can download it to PDF doc and probably some other extensions I don't even know. Yeah. And even when we were able to justify the expense of Microsoft Word, I still see myself going to Google <laughs> Docs because she does. I'm just used to it. Yeah. And I can, you know, get my doc from my phone or my laptop or if yeah. I need to, to gosh forbid go to the library and get a PC and work on that I can that's true that's true and I'll, I'll agree with her Google Docs is pretty uh, stellar I'm just kind of a Microsoft guy I've, I've always stuck with it there's nothing wrong with Google Docs I just have just become accustomed to Microsoft Word and I found it very hard to break that addiction and if you run out of room on Google Doc because they give you 15 gig, just open up a new account. I think yeah, I have three or four Google Drives. <laughs> yeah, Google Drive is also great. I mean, even just altogether, Google Spreadsheets, Google Docs, Google Drive, those things are great. I mean, 15 gigs, come on, that's a lot. That's a lot of room. And actually, there are some accounts, they will allow you one year of a trial at 10x that. So I actually had 150 gigs for a year. And I was like, wow, look at this. This is cool. Wow, this is awesome. I turned in Rodney Dangerfield all of a sudden. And 
One year later, they're just like, hey, by the way, uh, if you want to keep this account, you got to pay us money. And here, I, I had the thing, like, loaded. Like, I had probably easily 130 gigs on there. So I spent an entire day. So word to the wise here, folks. If you use Google Drive or Google Docs, which is tied to your Google Drive, um, don't overload it, okay? Unless you plan on spending some money in the long term. I guess Google don't watch this video. But lots of people like Google Docs. But Bionic Vapor says, don't tell my secrets. <laughs> don't tell my secrets. Yeah, there we go. So uh, what do you think about Google Docs? Is that something that you've used? Uh, bearing in mind that they create dot .docs and dot, do they do docx's as well? They might. Okay, those particular items, and I even discussed this in my upcoming course, plug, plug. Um, I, I talk about Google Docs actually does make that specific document so that way you can actually upload it to different self-publishing platforms that auto format format th that for you. So um, if you like that, please go ahead. Let's, let's hear from you. Give a thumbs up. I would love to hear what your preferred document creation software is out there and if it's free. And no, Bionic Vapor, I know you're paying attention right now. We're not pirating anything. There's a good reason why he wears a mask here, folks. Yeah, Ava says they do DocX. Uh, Excellent. Lots of people are using Google Docs. Look at that. This is my this is my people right here. I'm telling you. My computer's 10 ter- Good Lord, Monique. Can I store some of my stuff at your place? Everybody, parties over at Monique's place. She actually has 10 terabytes. I think she has enough information for her entire city block. So, um... All right, moving on. Number two. What's your number two? My number two is, it's just going to blow you guys away. And some of these are going to be like, oh, come on. I know this about you, Dale. And other ones don't. Draft to digital. Now, you guys are going to go, but that's a self-publishing platform. Yes, hear me out on this one. Draft to digital recently updated their auto formatting interior or their interior auto formatting software to where you can actually choose a number of templates. In fact, my good buddy Anthony, which he's probably either watching this now or he's gonna watch it later, was hard pressed to agree with me on Drafted Digital because he saw the old way of how they formatted the new way. He goes, you're right, it's pretty killer. And it's free, that's the thing. You can actually go and get this for free. So get yourself a free account. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do this. You go over to selfpublishingwithdale.com slash D2D, that's right, the number two. So that's selfpublishingwithdale.com slash D to D. And here's the thing. You don't have to publish a single book. You just go through the normal upload process like you would, like say on KDP. It's, it's fairly intuitive. I, I, I trust that you can be able to do this. And you just get to the interior portion and you can choose the different formats. It is wonderful. It's magnifique. Uh, magnifique? It's magnificent. Why am I trying to speak another language? Because we have Monique. Magnifique. Yes, magnifique. there we go. <laughs> So uh, that's why I love Draft to Digital. Um, have you had a chance to try out Draft to Digital's new interior formatting yet? No. Nope. No, you haven't. So I know you use Draft to Digital because you you get a small chunk of change from them. I haven't uploaded anything in a few months. Wow. <laughs> She's been focused on her create space here, folks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's that's my thought on Draft to Digital, and uh, and please, if you guys ever get a chance, I want you to go over, hit them up by a. Uh, Twitter at draft to digital uh, at draft to digital and just tell them uh, self pub with Dale sent you. Uh, those guys are good. They actually respond to every single one of the uh, tweets. So make sure you say something to them. All right, your number two. My number two is a website, salesrankexpress.com. And you can look up ranks of your books. Um, you can use it for create space, audiobooks, Kindle books, all that good stuff. And what I like most about it is when I was doing more romance publishing, you can see if your book's in the adult dungeon. Adult dungeon. If you don't know what the adult dungeon is, just Google it. Um, or I can just briefly say it, I guess. It's a book that has too much sex in it and is only good for adults. And there go. there's really no rhyme or reason why it gets in the dungeon and why it doesn't. Um, but sometimes it happens and you can't search for it unless you have the ASIN. So that's a good website to see, oh, why isn't this book selling for romance? Oh, this is why. Very cool. Uh, I'd never actually heard of Sales Rank Express until you had mentioned to me one time and you said, you should check this out. It's literally on my to-do list of all these other things between you know checking out Nook Press to uh, publishing directly to i uh, iBooks over into to Apple iTunes, if you will, um, and I, I just haven't had a chance to get to it. That's free, though. 
Free? No, you, you you didn't say that before. See, like if you would have said free, I would have been like, "Bah, oh, I'm all I'm game." <laughs> I I know you're cheap. Ex, ex, expect me to give you free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is too much fun. We're getting to see the the uh, the chat here. Let's blow this chat up. Let's see what you guys think. What is your number two? What is your number two? We've we've been very forthright about what we like. I'm gonna give you my number one. And listen. I'm taking off my glasses because we're going to have a nice little conversation here, folks. All right. You guys knew this was coming. You know what my number one is. I'm going to tell you this. You won't know what her number one is. If you spent any amount of time here on my channel binge watching any of my stuff, which I know a couple of you inside chat have binge watched my stuff, you probably already know my number one free resource is Grammarly. I've already said brought to you in part by Grammarly. It's a free thing. And here's the funny thing. You guys ready for this? I'm a cheapskate. I actually, I think I haven't paid for my Grammarly account in about uh, a few months easily, probably about half a year. It's because they went to uh, bill their next cycle and where I had done my initial year, it cost me about 70 bucks because I got it on sale. And so they discontinued it. And you know what, the free, the free version works just fine. So that's why I say, Get a free account. At the very least, it'll help you clean up some of your language. It's not gonna get all the passive sentence structure and you're not gonna be able to get all the bells and whistles like the plagiarism detector or the um, actual style that you wanna do. Um, but the Grammarly freemium account is worth it. I've already given it a plug. I don't think I need to repeat that. Just check down inside the description. You click it, get yourself a free account. It's of no expense to you and it greatly helps support this channel. So that is my number one. But what is your number one? What do you think is your number one free resource? Please paint outside the lines. I wanna hear exactly where you're getting your free resources. We're gonna to get to Kelly's in just a moment. I've already told you what the stream is brought to you by, brought to you in part by. I have to say in part by, otherwise Grammarly's gonna come over here and slap me. So um, next week, make sure that you're joining us on Thursday for four facts every newbie self-publisher should know in 2018. I know a lot of you veteran self-publishers are gonna probably go, oh, this, is, this is probably not important for me. You might wanna still pop in. It's good to have a refresher and as well as we'd love to hear a little bit of your input. So um, that is for next Thursday, December 21st, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're back onto our normal schedule. I wanna let you know, and I'm actually gonna go over here, uh, upcoming events. We're gonna have, uh, the following week's gonna be how to find a profitable niche in 2018, nine ways to make money self-publishing in 2018, and the top five Kindle publishing niches to avoid in 2018. So that's all going into, oddly enough, January of 2018. We're gonna be staying on the Thursday program barring any kind of complications and I'm going to try to let you know exactly everything a month in advance so you know how to plan your schedule accordingly. And uh, good news, coming January you should start seeing more uploads on this channel more frequently outside of the live streams and the interviews, which this week, this Thursday, it's going to be a very, very special guest and I, it's going to keep it quiet. She doesn't know, don't ask her. She, she doesn't know. She knows all the guests I've had, but uh, I want to make sure I save this one for a secret, but I'm going to tell you this. This is high quality information that I'll be sharing on this Thursday's interview. All right. Now, if you haven't already said your number one free self-publishing resource, why haven't you done it yet? Why haven't you hit that thumbs up yet? So, now let's go ahead and see what my wife Kelly says is her number one self-publishing tool that's for free. Bookout.com and he didn't even hear about it before. <laughs> I would, I'm lost. I was like, book owl? What? Like, what? Is, is this like a mixture of a book and a cow? It's spelled book O-W dot com. Ava fails, LOL. <laughs> what I use it for is to create my crate space covers um, because oh. I don't like doing any math. You know, this website, if you just go to book dot com, about 20% down, you see a free Create Space Cover template generator. And then you can just plug and play the width, height, page count, paper type. You can even put an ISBN if you want, what format you want, and they'll email you an attachment. Now, after 
you go off that page, they will ask for a donation, but it's still free because you don't have to donate. Um, but I just find this very helpful and more quicker to make a paper book, paperback book um, cover. You know, I think I've seen you working on this, but I'd never put two and two together. Because see, here's the thing, folks. She's in one corner, I'm in the other. So I literally have to turn around in order to see what she's doing. And so every now and then I'll get up and I'll look over her shoulder and I'll see her working on things. But here's the thing. She has her headphones on. I've got to be very selective about when I say things or ask her things. So chances are I probably saw it. I'm like, ah, oh, she's working on create space covers. And I just went about my business. So have you tried out BookCal before? I'm really uh, curious as to your experience with them. Um, that, that is really just interesting. So I use it probably at least once a week. Um, cause I'll save the templates if I use them over and over again, but it's at least once a week I touch that website. Awesome. Very good. Well, man, we really kind of cranked through six great self-publishing resources that don't cost you a dime. Is there ones that you would like to add? Is there ones you think that we're remiss and that we missed? Because, um, I know there's a lot of great tools out there. In fact, actually, it's more of a case of us trying to figure out, well, what's what's really what works out best for us? Are you looking for my plug? Yes. You um, want to make sure we plug in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, my wife's keeping an eye on things. I, you might have to reach underneath there and get it. Yeah. This We're high quality here, folks. That, this is how we do things in our broadcast. So uh, we're, we're running live. Yeah, uh, didn't plan for uh, plugging in this this whole setup. So, uh, in any event, um, Canva. Canva's another good one. Do you guys have any kind of questions? That's that's where we're going to usually finish off. Hemingway, I've heard of Hemingway before, and I understand that you can use Hemingway completely free online. And if you wanted to use it offline... Will that stretch? Um, yeah, it'll probably make it. You just make sure you don't run it over. Okay. All right, so... Um, yeah, Hemingway. Have you tried that one out before? No, I have not. That's that's a that's a Jason Brock uh, endorsed one. Jason had suggested right. to me He's a long time ago. That. Yeah, and if you want to get it offline, uh, if you want to use it like on your computer and other times, and you're not connected, uh, I think the Hemingway Lifetime app is like twenty or thirty dollars. So uh, definitely give that a shot. Uh, Sales Rank Express. Uh, I see somebody mentioned that really quick. Ava loves Canva. I don't know if you said that when I was under the desk. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned it underneath the desk there. So yeah, Canva is, is, a, is a really good one. Actually, I had suggested that one, I think, in um, Best Free Book Cover Design video. So make sure that you go take a look at that. If you haven't had a chance to, and you're watching this live or on the replay, go over into my video catalog or just do a simple search of Free Book Cover Design uh, Designs Dale Roberts. And it should pull up that video where I discuss I can't remember how many free resources. I know that Derek Murphy has got a stellar uh, free Microsoft Word version of like a book cover design thing. And he actually goes through and talks about it. And you can't argue with Derek Murphy and the the fact that he he's successful at what he does. Um, but in any event, well, instead of us being long-winded, we're going to probably start to wrap things up here. Once again, remember, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Remember, we're going to be joining, we're going to be here next Thursday, not this Thursday, next Thursday. And we're going to be discussing four facts every newbie self publisher should know in 2018. In the meantime, if you like this video, make sure that you share it with somebody else who's into self publishing too. Till later, it's been self publishing with Dale and Kelly. We'll see you soon. <laughs>